Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking about when this cooldown could come to an end, and when we could see the above average temperatures return. Anyways, for today's comment of the day, I want to know, would you rather be in this colder pattern, or would you rather us return to a hotter pattern? Let me know what you prefer in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. I'd also like to remind you guys that I just made a Patreon post today talking about the severe weather over the next three days, uh, today, tomorrow, and the next day. So if you are curious about that, you can find that in the description and the pinned comments down below and join our Patreon page today. All right, now let's get straight into things. And first things first, we're taking a look at the first 10 days of May. I just want to kind of review because we're at the 30th of May. Today is another cold day, so we're going to close out the month. Uh, on a colder note in the east here uh, but we do see the first 10 days of the month were actually colder in the east for the most part the eastern seaboard was a little bit warmer than normal but really uh, mostly cold for the eastern two-thirds of the country uh, and then we saw very warm temperatures down there for the southwestern corner of the united states now the the uh, 10th through the 20th here, as you can see, was cold in the southeast, cold in the south central. But we saw warmth for most of the western United States and most of the northern United States, including the northeastern United States. But these previous 10 days, with the exception of the last couple of days, have been very warm in the eastern half of the country and then very cold in the western half of the country. So we saw a big pattern flip, and that was that heat wave that we've been talking about, that major heat wave that came in. Uh, we saw mine 90s multiple times here in Virginia, at least, and I know many other states also saw uh, official heat waves more than more than three days in a row of 90 degree temperatures or more as an official heat wave. Uh, so they were around. We definitely saw uh, the 90s for multiple, multiple days. Here is the entire uh, first 30 days of, of May. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be able to include the 31st here, but it is not going to make a difference because it actually looks kind of like our upcoming, or sorry, it kind of looks like how the month of May went. So it's just going to add to the actual uh, map that we're seeing here. But we see warm in the southwest, uh, cold for most of the central United States especially, and then kind of near normal for the eastern coast of the United States. Very, very interesting. Now let's finally move forward towards the future, or actually kind of just like right now, this is a Sunday morning, May 30th, and as you can see, we see at about 6 a.m. or so here, uh, we see very cold compared to normal here for the eastern half of the country. Very warm compared to what's normal there for the western uh, quarter of the country or so. Uh, and by the time we're reaching tomorrow, May 31st, as you can see, we have colder than normal conditions for the south central and uh, for the southeast as well. So as you can see, this is going to kind of look like how that first 30 days of May went. Like I said, so it's only going to increase these numbers, make it a little bit more extreme here. Uh, as you can see, in the western United States, we see far above normal temperatures there. That is that, is that positive PNA. We struggle with that a lot in the month of May. And it looks like for the beginning of June, we may struggle with a positive PNA as well. So what we're going to do, speaking of June, in just a moment, we're going to take a look at June 1st. All right, now here we are taking a look at the 1st of June. That's going to be Tuesday. And as you can see, we have mostly warmer than normal conditions for a lot of the United States here. We see a cold pocket there in the south central United States. Uh, but the east coast, that major cool down is kind of uh, tampered off a little bit. We see mostly near normal conditions there for the east coast. So it won't be too bad. It'll be quite pleasant, actually. The west coast of the United States is far above normal temperatures, about 15 to 30 degrees above normal there. So that is a strong positive PNA, and that's why we're not seeing super hot temperatures move into the eastern United States yet. By the time we're reaching June 2nd here, as you can see, we have colder than normal conditions, like I said, for the south central United States still. Uh, we see the southeast coast is dealing with some colder than normal conditions as well. Warmth in between. Very weird, wacky pattern we're in right there. As you can see, a warmer than normal conditions for the western uh, portions of the United States, especially there just to the west of the northern Rockies. We see those gray areas. That is where we are, again, about 15 to 30 degrees above normal temperatures. So this is a very, very positive PNA at this point. Uh, although I do expect that that pattern switch will eventually occur, like I said, and actually what that's going to bring is a negative PNA, uh, and that's going to allow for those hot temperatures to move further eastward actually here. Um, we're going to see that over the course of the next couple of frames, uh, and that's generally just what I'm expecting for the month of June uh, once we reach kind of the first, the end of the first week here. So we're just going to see this take place. 
Uh, let's move towards about uh, Thursday, and that's going to be June 3rd. And as you can see, those warmer than normal conditions out west are kind of moving a little bit further east. They're creeping their way further east. That could spell an end to that positive PNA. That could move us towards a negative PNA, matter of fact. Uh, but for the southeast and the south central United States, we're actually seeing it get colder and colder and colder uh, the further into June we're moving now. Um, so it's probably not that nice uh, by this frame. Thursday, June 3rd is not looking too nice at this point. Uh, probably 60s and 70s, so not like the hottest temperatures we've had, uh, to say the least. By the time we're reaching about June uh, 4th, you can see that we have, it's going to be about Friday, uh, June 4th. As you can see, we have colder than normal conditions still around for the south central and the southeastern United States, but those warmer than normal conditions are still moving further eastward, at least in the northern regions of the United States. The Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin dealing with far above normal temperatures. The northeast getting included in some of that as well now by this point here on Friday, June 4th. Uh, now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on, and we're going to move on towards June 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. We're just going to continue on with this pattern. We're even going to take a look at our PNA chart as well and just see when that pattern switch should occur. As you can see, the 5th looks a lot like the 4th. Again, still the north central United States dealing with the warmest conditions compared to normal. A lot of the northeast has warmed up quite a bit. Uh, the east, or sorry, the west coast there is starting to cool down. Look at Washington, Oregon, ca uh, Canada there. That is all a negative PNA that is trying to switch in. Uh, we see the south central and the southeastern United States dealing with colder than normal conditions here. Uh, so very, very far below normal temperature. Yesterday's Patreon post was actually about this uh, pattern flip. Uh, so if you want to get exclusive information a little bit sooner, uh, that is the best place to go is the Patreon page. I tried to release stuff a little bit earlier over there. Uh, just as a perk to the people uh, that join that Patreon page. So I highly recommend you do so. Just like I mentioned the severe weather um, on there today, and I'll probably make a YouTube video about it eventually, but I released it there first. All right. Now let's move towards Sunday, June 5th. And as you can see, uh, the Northwest is getting even colder compared to normal. We see the South Central United States is still dealing with those very cold conditions. I don't know what's going on there. The Southeast, same story. Uh, but the Northeast... North Central and also the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes areas like that are warmer than normal and even some areas significantly far above normal. We see the darker reds and the grays there. That is where you are far above your normal temperature. And we can see that negative PNA transitioning in and even more by the time we're reaching Monday, June 7th. Uh, you can see that the Southeast is still trying to hold on to some of those colder than normal conditions. Same story with the South Central United States. But look out West. We see that negative PNA setting up even more those colder than normal conditions are eating away at the warmer than normal conditions. And we should see, by the time we're reaching June 8th, 9th, 10th, those warmer than normal conditions expand for the eastern half of the country. We should see those become even more and more prominent uh, and really just eat away at those colder than normal conditions that are still lingering. And by the time we're reaching June 8th here on Tuesday, uh, that is going to be uh, the negative PNA is fully taking over. You can see even further. Now, by this point, the warmer than normal conditions are being driven out. The southeast, the south central United States, according to this model, are still holding on to some cooler air, but I do think that should be coming to an end uh, a few frames later. Let's just take a look at that PNA chart here. And as you can see, it's far positive up until about the 5th, and it dives negative for the 6th and 7th, uh, and then it kind of stays just slightly below uh, that neutral line after that point. That should encourage the warmer than normal conditions to move into the eastern United States before the middle portion of the month of June, uh, which is good news to some of you, bad news to others. Uh, I know it's about 50-50, so it's kind of difficult to say yay or nay, basically, because <laughs> I know half of you uh, feel one way and the other half feel another, so I try to be unbiased here, guys. Anyway, for our confidence tab, we're at a 4 out of 6. Obviously, this pattern flip is a little bit far in the pattern. We're looking at about a week out, so our confidence isn't super high at this point. Uh, but it is kind of 50-50, uh, a little bit higher, maybe 50 or 60% confidence there. Anyway, for today's comment of the day, uh, I asked you guys, when do you think that the hotter temperatures will arrive? And Turbocharged Sports said, I hope we never have a return to the very hot weather in the east, in the Midwest. And I want cooler than normal summer. And I know a lot of you feel this way. Uh, so 
Here's to hoping it's a cooler than normal summer for you. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our Platinum patrons, John Ben Benick, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Larry Lupan, and Donna Carnes, alongside our Diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Filegos, Gary, John Kulisi, and Dwight Balin. If you would like to be a part of our exciting Patreon end screen here, you can do so by joining that very, very awesome Patreon page in the description and in the pit comments down below. I would also like to thank our channel members, Hair Farms 1 and Catbite as well. If you'd like to join this, that'll be next to that subscribe button down below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button. Be sure to leave a comment down below to help that YouTube algorithm out. And be sure to subscribe if you like weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.